Hi, You Evolving Now family. I'm Andre Young, founder of You Evolving Now, and welcome to the Thought of the Week. This week's topic is called Collapsing Time Frames. So I'm happy to be here with you. I hope that you are ready to evolve. And in true Thought of the Week form, I'm going to ask a question from my Evolve book, answer it, and then ask it back to you. But first, our quote. Just because you feel a certain way does not mean you are right. Andre Young. So my question for you is this, how has reacting to your feelings been a positive or a negative in your life? How will you balance that moving forward? Now, do you know your partner's answer? Do you know your kid's answer? See, the topic that we talked about was called collapsing the time frames. Because I used to live in my feelings as a younger man. And as I started to evolve, I learned that collapsing my time frames and you being able to collapse your time frames may help you to evolve and have the relationship of your dreams. See, I wear everything on my face. You know what I'm feeling. You know what I'm going through like that. And as I got older, I didn't see any problem in hiding that. So when something came up in the relationship, I never shied away from confrontation. I had a thought, I said it. So when I shared what I shared, either I wasn't able to say it in the right way because I was too in my feelings when I said it, or my significant other was not capable of hearing what I said because the timing wasn't right. And then I would get upset and I would get frustrated. Now, I'm not sure how you handle your anger or frustration or negative feelings, but what I found was that it took me three days to calm down. Now, here was my process. On the first day, it was all about my righteous pain, my righteous rightness. And I spent that first day thinking about how right I was and how entitled I was to say what I said and how what I said was true. Now, on the second day, I was able to pull back and say, okay, is the person that I married, my wife, is the person that you're friends with, if whoever you're upset with, are they the devil? Did they actually come out of the underbelly of the world and fee five fo their way to being the worst person in the world? Most likely not. If they are, then why are you, why are we in the relationship with them to begin with? That's our own issue that we need to address. So most likely, they're not the most horrible person in the world. So... Why were they so upset? What was so upsetting about the situation that made them say and or do what they did? That understanding piece can take us to another level because we know they're not a terrible person. We know we're, we're not a terrible person and we're going to be a team, whether this be friends, co-workers, work, whether this is a significant other or your kids. It all comes down to relationships and we are a team. So we're going to get through this together as a team. So by my third day, by my third day, I was ready to say, okay, how do we move forward? See, I got out of the I part. We have to get in transition out of I and get into we. So how are we going to move forward? Now, some of the we may be a compromise. Maybe I'm giving something or they're giving something. Or maybe I'm just not going to give at all and it's their turn to receive. And my turn will be next time. However we choose to do it. We have to go from I to we. And the quicker we could do that, the better. Now, funny thing. After my three days, and on that third day, I'm feeling better. I'm way more positive. I have the sun in my face here. As I'm feeling more positive, well, now I'm ready to be good again. But I've spent three days of being disconnected. I've spent three days of being uh, silent. I've been, spent three days of being negative without giving love because I've been in my feelings and you're in your feelings, but now you're ready to get good again. Well, what if they are not? So as I've grown, as I've evolved, I know that you know that time is the most important thing. So the pain that you say when we're in our feelings and emotional, that hurt can never go away. It may be forgiven, but never forgotten. And the time that we spend being negative and disconnected and emotionless or furious and fighting can never be gotten back. 
So let's collapse those time frames. And I want you to use the process that I mentioned. Okay, what part of it are you in your feelings about? And that's okay. You know, it may not be able to say and do everything we want to do about it, but what is it that we have an issue with? Is it rational? Is it doable? Is it fair? The changes we're asking that person to make. Is it rational? Is it doable? And is it fair given who you are with, who you know that person to be, whether it's your coworker, your kids, your partner? If it is, then let's have a conversation about that. And let's see how they're feeling about that. So one, where do you stand and what do you want and what do you need? Is it rational, doable, and fair? Number two, if they're not the worst person in the world, which most likely is not, where are they coming from? Why were they upset? Why did they do what they do? What do they need? And then lastly, how do we, transitioning from I's to the we's, how do we move forward? And is what they might need and want from you rational, reasonable, doable, and fair for who you are? So guys, thank you for tuning in to the thought of the week. I hope this resonated with you. I hope that this formula for success and evolution impacts you. And when it does, Jot something down here on our social media and let people know how it's worked out for you. Because I'm going to read this quote and this question one more time. And I want you to think about the question. But more importantly, live your answer. Just because you feel a certain way does not mean that you're right. Andre Young. How has reacting to your feelings been a negative for you and been a positive for you? And what will you do to balance and manage your thoughts and feelings when they are in conflict, when you are in conflict? Do you know your partner's answer? Do you know your kids? No matter how young, they have their feelings, they're in them, and is it hurting them or is it helping them? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. Check out youevolvingnow.com with all of my personal growth, relationship growth, and lifestyle enhancement content there. Also, click to schedule some time with me for your free 15-minute consult. Maybe you want to do our root way. Maybe you want to do seven ways to love for you and your relationship and with your significant other. Yes, we do that. So schedule some time to talk with me for free. I want to get to know you, what you need, and let's walk a path together for you to start living the life of your dreams. Guys, take care. I'll see you next time and enjoy your evolution.